All right, so today we're going to be talking about the Eisenstein's criterion. And this criterion is a really important component in the field of polynomial rings. And it's named after Ferdinand Gotthold Max Eisenstein, a German mathematician. And the criterion states, let polynomial fx equals a sub n x to the power of n all the way to a naught. So the standard form of a polynomial as we know it. And let the polynomial be in the integer polynomial ring. And it states that if there exists a prime number p such that p is a divisor of a sub i for i equals 0 all the way to n minus 1. Notice it's not 0 all the way to sub a sub n, but rather n minus 1. And the second condition is the prime number p does not divide the leading term coefficient a sub n. And p squared does not divide the constant term a naught. And when these three conditions are satisfied, we can conclude fx is, in fact, irreducible over the rational polynomial ring qx. And this criterion is actually based on Gauss's lemma that states if fx polynomial in the integer ring is reducible over the rational ring, then it's also reducible over the integer ring. So let's just review irreducibility quickly. So when fx, a polynomial, cannot be expressed as a product of two polynomials, we say that fx is irreducible. So for example, if fx equals fx uh, equals two, uh, the product of two polynomials, gx times hx, with the degree of gx hx both less than fx, then we can say fx is reducible. So notice that one important condition for fx is that it has to be in the field. And this relates to the Eisenstein's criterion because the Eisenstein, it, produce, it creates a test for whether a polynomial is irreducible. So now, let's see a really quite a simple but fundamental example. Show that x cubed plus x plus 1 is irreducible in z mod 5x polynomial ring. We automatically notice that the a naught constant term is 1, and there is no prime number that divides 1. So the Eisenstein's criterion would not apply here. So how can we approach this? So we can first list out all the elements in Z mod 5, because this is a ring of relatively low order. There's only five elements. And there is a really handy theorem to know. So suppose the degree of fx is 2 or 3, then fx is irreducible if and only if fx has no roots in f. So this would apply here because the degree of the polynomial given is cubic. So all we need to do is we test for whether there's any roots by subbing in all the elements from 0 to 4 into the polynomial. And it's important to note that we want to show irreducibility over z mod 5. So for example, if we sub in f2, and f2 equals 11 here, which is congruent to 1 mod 5. And so notice that after we subbed it in, none of them is equal to 0, which means that there are in fact no roots in z mod 5 for the given polynomial. So that we can conclude fx is irreducible. So an important thing to note is that this only applies to degree of polynomial of 2 or 3. So let's say if we have a polynomial of 4 or beyond, then that would not work because even if it appears that there is no roots of f uh, for f having a degree of 4, that does not mean it's irreducible. So further testing would be needed to show irreducibility or reducibility for degree greater than 3. 
All right, so now let's move on to an example where Eisenstein would apply. Is the given polynomial reducible over qx? So our first instinct might be to break it down into a quadratic and cubic polynomial, um, but that would be quite a complicated process, especially if fx is not reducible in the end. So Eisenstein would come in and we would see, is there a prime number that divides 6, divides negative 6, and divides negative 4? Let's try 2. So 2 divides 6, 2 divides negative 6, and 2 divides negative 4. But 2 does not divide 3, and 2 squared does not divide 6. And that's when we can conclude fx is in fact irreducible over qx. And that is it for Eisenstein's criterion. Uh, there are also other pathways to test for irreducibility, which will not be covered in this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.